Well, the basic thing is the packaging of the thing. And in a modern Formula One car with the current regulations, you need a low center of gravity engine, which is light. And the V angle really is dictated by the architecture of the driver behind the fuel tank with a fuel stock car. Yeah. So the engine is designed for the car or the car for the engine? Yeah, absolutely. Now, a Formula One engine runs for about 1,500 kilometers, maybe. Why is that? Because a road car... kilometers. Well, why 500? Because a road car runs for God knows how many. Well, you could, you could run more uh, or you could run less. It's really dependent upon um, lots of factors in, in the engine at the time, you know. But uh, about 600 kilometers is the most that anybody gets before you rebuild it. You normally then have to change a variety of components, you know. A rebuild is taking how long? One day, two days? It takes about 90 hours, including a dynamometer test. And then the engine is fully checked before it even gets to the circuit? Yep, every single one is dyno tested. It doesn't matter which manufacturer that is, you know, everybody does the same thing. Now, Formula One costs a lot of money, the engine budgets take a lot of the total budgets of a team. Um, would it be feasible for you to serve more than one team? Would you be able to do more development then on an engine? We, we could physically service more than one team, but we make, we make the decision voluntary to just stay with one team for lots of reasons. Uh, most of them are obvious. I mean, practically, you're better off to service one team and you haven't got the other team in the other garage going, oh, they got the better engine and, 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 and all that business. Now, if you compare this to, um, let's say, uh, an average road car engine, uh, fuel consumption-wise and power-wise, how would you who rate those two? Well, this is a three-litre. I mean, if you compared it to your average two-litre family saloon, which is a little over 100 horsepower, 130 horsepower, so this is getting on for five times the horsepower, and it'll do around six miles per gallon. And it's very expensive. Yeah, yeah.